Good morning. It's Friday, May 12, 2023. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, I Wonder, Me Too. And our scripture is 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 12, where the Apostle Paul writes, Now we see things imperfectly, like puzzling reflections in a mirror, but then we will see everything with perfect clarity. All that I know now is partial and incomplete, but then I will know everything completely, just as God now knows me completely. Everyone wonders about the big questions of life, its purpose, meaning, origin, and where we will go afterwards. Such thoughts lead to one of two conclusions, both typically immersed in more questions than a human brain can entertain in a lifetime. Those conclusions are either faith or unbelief. To believe in God is to trust in the unseen. Unbelief settles for what's in front of you, what you now can see and touch and smell and imagine with your sensory gifts, wherever they came from, right? Wayne Dreyer, in a book entitled Your Sacred Self, has a delightfully engaging parable that argues for faith. And it goes like this. In a mother's womb, there were two babies. One asked the other, do you believe in life after delivery? The other replied, why, of course, there has to be something after delivery. Maybe we are here to prepare ourselves for what will be later. Nonsense, said the first. There's no life after delivery. What kind of life would that be? The second said, I don't know, but there will be more light than here. Maybe we'll walk with our legs and eat from our mouths. Maybe we'll have other senses that we can't understand now. The first replied, that is absurd. Walking is impossible, and eating with our mouths ridiculous. The umbilical cord supplies nutrition and everything we need. But the umbilical cord is so short, life after delivery is to be logically excluded. The second baby insisted, well, I think there's something, and maybe it's different than it is here. Maybe we won't need this physical cord anymore. The first replied, nonsense, and moreover, if there is life, then why has no one ever come back from there? Delivery is the end of life, and in the after delivery, there's nothing but darkness and silence and oblivion. It takes us nowhere. Well, I don't know, said the second, but certainly we will meet mother and she will take care of us. The first replied, mother, you actually believe in mother? That's laughable. If mother exists, then where is she now? The second said, she's all around us. We're surrounded by her. We are of her. It is in her that we live. Without her, this world would not and could not exist. Said the first, well, I don't see her, so it's only logical that she doesn't exist. To which the second replied, Sometimes, when you're in silence and you focus and you listen, you can perceive her presence and you can hear her loving voice calling down from above. For you today, if scripture has it right, and I have faith it does, then we ought to let these little children have the lead and hold it dear until it's clear. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.